Hey guys, Jay here, and i um, going to talk about uh, my speed runs this weekend. I, um, For the first time, I was able to take the car out and do some speed runs. Um, did the front alignment, um, and it pretty much showed on the road today. Um, I um, can't tell you any numbers because... The speedometer I was using, I don't know what's wrong with it, um, or if it was the GPS. I live, like, around a lot of trees and stuff. Um, the speedometer I used, I, I can't remember the name, but um, it had a lot of good reviews. Um, nobody had anything bad to say about it. Um, and uh, for some reason, it wasn't recording the numbers. So the only thing I can tell you is... Um, <laughs> this car was really, really fast. Really fast. Um, I know Mr. Tuner89 had mentioned uh, to me before um, to use Ulysses Speedometer, but I guess iPhone doesn't support it, so I wasn't able to download that, so I'm going to have to look in, look into, um, you know, something else, some other kind of speedometer um, for iPhone. But anyways, um, I, I'm not even running... Um, 70 plus gears in this car. Um, from what I, from the research I've done and watching videos, um, the gearing and the battery, um, obviously a three cell, will only top out at 65 miles an hour. And the reason why I'm not going all in is because I'm not used to the speed. Um, that was prevalent on the road today, and you could definitely see that. Um, so I had some handling issues, not so much the car, but with me, um, kind of was a little bit nervous, exhilarated, pumped. Um, it did track straight and everything, but um, there was a couple of times that, you know, I kind of swerved to the side of the road, and I swerved out. And these tires are just amazing. I mean, the tires kept the car without flipping, because um, they really stuck to the road, um, you know, I'd go to swerve and, and the tires would just grip the road so well that the car, even at a high rate of speed, would just, you know, go right with it. I mean, it would just stay right with it. Um, in worst case scenario, the car would do like a 180. Um, but, um, yeah, so the tires were really good. Um, I got a couple of learning curves, um, you know, you know, keeping it straight as far as on my end, not the car. Um not giving it too much throttle. There was a couple of times I spun out. Um, no damage to the car today. Knock on wood. Um, uh, let's see what else. Um, I just wasn't, you know, oh, the, the braking zone. I mean, having enough room to brake is like, not that I didn't, you know, believe anything you guys said in your videos or anything, but it's just incredible that when you're going at that rate of speed, that how much distance or how much road you need just for braking um, was incredible because I'm I'm putting on the brakes and the car's still going, and then it catches up to it. But it's you know when you're going that fast. I mean, obviously, I mean when you drive in a real car, it's the same thing. But you know, not having the experience of driving an RC this fast. Um, I just wish I knew what numbers I had, um, cause I'm not sure this is the road that I'd be trying to hit 70 plus on, but I just wanted to see, um, you know, how far I could go, test it out. Um, but anyways, I'm a little bummed out because I had some issues with my ESC, um, where, um, the car was going into a thermal protection shutdown which, um, if you felt the motor, it was very cool to the touch. Um, a little warm, but not, you know, I mean, you could hold your fingers there. You could hold your hands there. You're not going to get burned. Um, it ran very cool. Um, I, it did it to me twice, and I'm not really sure what to make of that, other than there's something wrong with the ESC. So I'm probably going to have to send it back to Traxxas. Um, so... You know, I was excited because I'm getting out there. Now I'm going to be down again. And August is around the corner. So I'm starting to get nervous because I, I would like to get this done this summer. 
And um, also, you know, I'm running out of time at my job. I got about maybe five more paychecks left and then I'll be unemployed. And I don't think that I'll be collecting. Um, so I won't really have any money coming in as far as, you know, just in case if I was to damage the car or or if I'm going to have to pay out of pocket for the ESC. Because I've dealt with Traxxas before. They were pretty good. But this car is like um, probably a year and a half old. So I don't know. Um, I know if they looked at the ESC, I mean, it's um, it's clean as a whistle. But um, So I guess that's it for that. Um, and right now I'm fooling around with my Wraith. Um, I got a new driver in. So if you're not a Star Wars fan, that's Boba Fett. And before, I had, let me see, I had the Sand Trooper. He was my driver. But, um, he's been knocked down a peg. Uh, so... <laughs> So he's now riding shotgun. Uh, and that's my battery going off um, for me to start running this. But yeah, so got kind of like a Star Wars theme going on in there. Um, I did, um, or I'm doing, um, the Fastback mod for this. And I was kind of um, kicking it around for a long time. Um, I've seen a lot of guys do the fastback mod to their Wraith, and I was, you know, I didn't want to do it because of so many guys doing it. I wanted to have, you know, at least a Wraith that was different than everybody else's, but, um, you know, it just, if you look at the way it was before, I mean, it doesn't look bad with the roof extended, but it definitely looked like you know, a beach wagon on steroids. So, no more beach wagon on steroids. I mean, I I kind of watched a lot of Fastback Mods uh, videos, and um, it's definitely got a good look to it. Um, where is it? This is kind of... That's kind of what it would look like. And I'll be using these links here for the back. Kind of gives it like, you know, the way I look at this, it kind of looks like, um, you know, the Road Warrior, Mel Gibson, the Road Warrior. It kind of looks, you know, kind of futuristic or post-apocalyptic war. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm sure he'll be a driver in this vehicle someday. Um, so, yeah, I guess, um, I guess that's it for this video. And uh, I guess I'm going to go outside and uh, have some fun with the Wraith. So I hope everyone had a good day. And take care. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.